All right, quick video today because I need to take a shit. But more importantly, we're on the push to ultimate champion and I've been playing Minor Poison, but what I've realized is the Dagger Duchess, this annoying shit, has been countering my deck. So I found this new deck called Minor Control, which is much better at dealing with the Dagger Duchess in my opinion. And we're gonna play it on ladder. Someone asked me to make a video on this, how to beat the Dagger Duchess with Minor Poison. And hopefully this is the video for you, buddy. Hi, welcome to my bed. The clash footage that I had got corrupted, so I'm still gonna use my live commentary, but with replays behind it. What is the goal here? The goal is to just slowly chip their tower over time, and we don't have to constantly be putting pressure on. Actually, you do, but not nearly as much as the other deck that I was playing, which is like the minor bat, spear goblins, wall breaker kind of deck. That one, you need to constantly be applying pressure because you don't have the ability to, to, to defend against big pushes. Whereas with this deck, you do. You can also use the goblins instead of the guards if you want, but the guards right now are kind of sick because they don't die to arrows, which means that you can use it to like defend hogs and stuff and they can log it or they can arrow it and you're all good. The other goal with this is you want to keep cycling your evolutions because that they're broken and that's how you win games now. So as you can see, I just cycled my Tesla and I cycled my knight. All good. We're going to get to those quickly. I don't know why I said those like that. And that was a really weird uh, freeze. I also just realized that this guy is not playing the Dagger Duchess. So not the greatest example for my first game. But I'm sure if I play like three games, I'm going to go up against it at some point. Another trick. Um, there's a lot coming to mind right now. If you do Poison Log Delivery, that kills the Sparky. So um, not if he has a Battle Healer. But yeah, it's... Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Great first deck I'm going up against. Shit, man. Okay, we're good. You might be wondering, hey Saxon, you mentioned in the intro that you need to take a shit. Why don't you just go take a shit right now and then you have a nice time to film your video? Well, the answer to that, young one, is that I don't need to shit right now. You know how like in school, you would go into class and ask the teacher to go to the toilet and she's like, oh, well you should have taken your fat poop at lunch um well my answer to that is uh, and and our answer to that would always be well i didn't need to go at lunch all right i need to go now this is kind of the same situation where i don't need to go right now but i know i will in a little bit so that's my response to that question i know many of you were thinking that and now i hope you are wiser to that fact he's gonna do his annoying ass push again i'm sure of it okay Tesla coming down, should be able to deal with all that. And hopefully the Sparky doesn't lock onto my tower. Okay, good. Yeah, we're all good. This guy is playing a weird deck. It's kind of annoying because I would like to show a better game, but this is how it's going to start. And you're just going to have to deal with that, all right? But one thing that's so nice about this deck is the fact that I have log delivery. I completely missed <laughs> that Mega Knight. But log delivery is something I've missed because I used to play a deck with log delivery in it. And... It just got nerfed the shit out of, so now I, I switch decks, but now I think I have to switch again because that deck is so bad against the Dugger The Dagger Duchess, not the Dugger Duchess. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's crazy how much uh, different things that they've introduced in the game can like completely change the way you play the game. Delivery is just so nice here. Like, look at that. Just cleans everything up. Sparky does not get a shot. We're gonna poison on defense because I think it's necessary. Shit. We're good. There's no way we lose here. Oh my god. The Swaki's not dead. Is that on the tower? No, it's not. God, dude. What is this deck? Alright, we're just gonna win here by cycling minor poison. This guy's being really annoying, and I don't know why I've been playing so slow, but I think we genuinely win if we just keep doing this. Oh no. Hopefully I'm not throwing. Shit. I'm just uh, okay. I'm committing. I'm committing to them to the minor poison. Yeah, and we win. There's no way you can win from here. Alright, GG. Hopefully that showed you how to play it. Now that I've laid out the ground rules on how to play this deck, I'm gonna start yapping about stuff. Taking my jumper off because I feel like it's making me uncomfortable. Yes, Dagger Duchess. Finally, I can show you how to play against it. But I was at the gym the other day. I say the other day. I'm literally talking about this morning. I was at the gym this morning. And for the past week or so, I've been seeing this guy uh, that's been in my gym who I've never seen before. 
And he is like this massive guy, but he's not just massive. He's also like physique goals, all right? So he's got massive arms and just like, he just looks sick. And I always thought that like, hey, maybe I'll go up to him because, you know, I always like to compliment people when I can. And when I was in the gym earlier today, I saw him again. By the way, th this is the power of the guards. So if we just play the guards and we log, then we save our building. So if he if he outcycles us, we can still get to, like we're still on the Tesla, if that makes sense. That's why I play the guards. You can do the same with the goblins and the log, but you have to be quicker with your reactions and also um, it dies to log. So if they log, then you're just kind of effed, if that makes sense. We're not going to poison that firecracker because I want to activate King. So I'm, oh shit, that's actually not a bad play from him. Gonna knight low here because the firecracker should shoot it and activate king. And I'm gonna log so that I don't take too much damage. And we're all good in the hood. He failed to protect that. And that's just nice and fun because we hate the firecracker here on this channel. The world's most annoying card after the evolution bomber and maybe evolution recruits. So yeah, when I was in the gym earlier today, I saw this guy next to me at the uh, lat pull down kind of area. I missed, <laughs> I missed that Tesla. That should only get one shot, we're good. Uh, I saw him next to me at the lat pull down machine and I had my earphones in and stuff so I wasn't gonna talk to him yet, but there was someone else deadlifting really close to us. As he like started lifting the weights, the, the guy that I think is really big turned to him and started getting like up, 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 up. And I'm like, hey, that's kind of sick. That's like a, you know, he's just like another bro, you know what I mean? It's just nice, nice to see like the human side of people instead of just like the scary, like them walking around with their earphones in and shit. You don't want to approach people when they're like that. But then when they start talking to others, you're like, hey, that's just a, just another regular human being. And I was like, oh, that's sick. I might go up and talk to him at some point later. And then, you know how people like to shadow box? in between sets, like every guy does it. I, I don't know exactly why. I used to do it too until I realized that it was a little bit cringe, but it's just like you finish your set and then you start going like, oosh, 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 oosh. Um, this guy was doing that, right? But then he started going around and punching the machines, like loud and hard, just fucking beating up the machines. And I was like, well, I guess I'm not talking to him then. Uh, just because it was a little bit weird and a little bit crazy. A bit too crazy for my liking. Please don't shoot. Oh my god, I was so late with that. Alright, we're not losing to this because that would be embarrassing. We're just going to keep pressuring now. Clogging up the lane so even if he wants to play the hog, he can't get a hit. The whole point was that if you clog up the lane, then he can't get a hit. But now the dagger, the duchess's daggers have run out. We can just minor. We get the we get the hit and poison will take the win. Yes, that's how you beat the dagger duchess. All right, and we're back against the princess tower. So again, not gonna be able to show you how to beat it, but hopefully you're understanding what you have to do. Minor minor the first play is not too bad in this deck because we do have like three, maybe four if you include the guards um, as like tanks. Okay, that's a weirdly big push. And my delivery hit one thing out of the three things he played. That's great. But yeah, play defensive. You really don't want to go down in elixir or damage if you can avoid it at the start because it's really hard to come back with this deck. This deck does thrive in triple elixir because it's just like minor poison, minor poison, minor poison over and over and over again. We're going to play knight the other lane because I want to activate king here with that firecracker. Just like that. You want to play it a little late because if you, sorry, you want to play it a little early, the um, the spirit or whatever you're going to put down. Because if the firecracker, firstly, you don't want the firecracker to target your tower. But also you don't want the firecracker to kind of like shoot and then go back behind the bridge and then get a chance to get another shot, if that makes any sense. This is going to get down late. Oh my god, that is terrible. All right, I'm going to focus up here. One thing I do want to talk about, I'm going to take some damage, but that's all right. As long as the bandit doesn't get on the tower as well, then we're fine. I don't want to waste elixir here, so two hits is not too bad. What are we playing against? So we're playing against Valk and Mega Knight and Bandit and Hog and Witch. What the fuck is this deck? It's just like a random deck against, I guess. 
Usually with Hog, you want to play same lane because you want to clog up your lane so that they don't get the chance to push. But when they have Mega Knight, I think it changes it a little bit. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just push wherever's like, wherever's comfortable, if that makes sense. Don't forget as well that you want to split lane pressure whenever you can. So if you have the chance to, just like push the other lane because it's never really a bad decision. I'm playing that Tesla there because he kind of made it awkward for me. And yeah, I think we should be good here. I was walking down the street literally just before I started filming this video because I mean, I don't do you need to know why I was walking down the street? I just was, all right. So I was walking down the street and oh my god, this firecracker dude. That's actually going to be the death of me. All right, I'd love to tell you what I was doing here, but let me just focus on defending first so I don't lose this game cuz I don't think it's fun to watch the YouTuber lose the game. Please, one hit is enough. I think that Hong only got one hit. Alright, we're fine. We're safe. That felt a bit scary. He's playing a bit of a bridge spam deck, which I am notoriously bad against. But I'm gonna prove myself here. What I wanted to say is I was walking down the street. I walked past this building where a bunch of like steam and smoke was coming out. And a smell hit me and it literally made me gag. But you know how like a smell can sometimes take you back to a different time zone? Like, not time, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. It's like, it takes you back to like memories, you know what I mean? It, it makes you think about, oh my god, dude, firecracker is so annoying. It makes you think about times that you haven't thought about in a while. And it's such a strong feeling that it evokes. Sometimes that's a great thing. Like it can make you think of your childhood and other times it can make you think of what I'm about to tell you I thought about. So, the summer that just passed, I was doing my driving lessons to become, like, someone that can drive, I guess. Time to start poisoning, by the way, because it's triple elixir, and there's basically no consequences to just playing a bunch of minor poisons. That's kind of scary. Please don't fuck me in the butt. That would not be nice. We're gonna poison because he's starting to play a lot of stuff. And it's, like I said, a bit scary. But you see the power of just like poisoning everything and deliverying everything and logging everything. We're already back in the game, basically, after being down a thousand. But yeah, I was doing my driving lessons and the smell that this thing reminded me of was my driving instructor's breath. And oh my god, dude, I would spend hours per day in the car with this guy. Same guy every time, apart from one day where I had a different instructor. And his breath, let me tell you, smelled like cigarettes mixed with a mouth that hasn't been cleaned in like three months, all right? And I would be in the car with this guy for so long. And when I got home, I would get his like, I didn't even have any facial hair or anything. His smell, his mouth smell, would just be lingering on my upper lip. It was so disgusting. All right, let's play one more because I want to talk about this driving instructor. So not only did I have to spend all day in the car with this guy just smelling his breath, I also had to go home. And I remember like every day I, w I went through a phase where I was just eating a bunch of grilled chicken. And uh, every day I would go home like and eat this grilled chicken off the bone. And every time I would take a bite from the, the wing, it's like... All right, you know what I mean? And my upper lip would just kind of like bleed this smell into my nostrils that made me want to vomit. It was so disgusting. And from then on, I learned that I had to like wash my face. All right, so we're going to play the knight here. We're going to pull the bandit over. I don't know why I did that actually, because I thought, I thought the Dark Prince was not going to die. But it's fine. We're going to cycle our knights. And that's good, I guess. And let's log for this spear, uh, what's it called? Dark Goblin. Hopefully that hits. It does. We're all good. The guards are also sick because look at this. We're, it's providing some pressure. And yeah, we're good. I think we're playing against like another spammy kind of deck. Which is fine because I think I am getting much better at playing against it. That gets a hit. Wow. Alright. Yeah, so I learned that after I got home from those lessons, I would have to go wash my face instantly if I didn't want to suffer for the rest of the day smelling this guy's breath on my upper lip. So I would go shower or wash my face as soon as I got home, but the smell would still fucking linger, bro. I'd, I'd go eat my food and it's just like, I couldn't get rid of it. It was just there. 
Good thing my girlfriend wasn't around at the time, or else she would have had to smell. Please! Dude, that's Wi-Fi. You could tell how early I placed that down. Um, I thought that was a minor for a second, and I almost put down my knight and just wasted it. <sighs> Breathe. I just realized I've been speaking a lot without really breathing. We're gonna minor for that bandit. I would delivery, but with the Wi-Fi right now, I don't trust that it's gonna get down in time. But there it does. Okay, good. We're gonna Tesla. I haven't really been cycling my Tesla at all. I think that's the first time I played it this game, which is fine. Not necessarily a bad thing. And yeah, this guy really is playing just like a high pressure deck. We're gonna keep cycling the miners onto his tower and... Okay, he's catching on with my positioning. I don't think he has a NATO, so I can actually play my miner wherever I want. And it should be fine. That's not a bad push. I feel like he might minions. Nice. Read him like a book. Okay, sick. And we missed one, we missed one of the minions, but that's alright. We're gonna do this. I just realized I played my miner in the exact same spot. And yeah, you can see how this deck works. It's just, it's basically just defend, defend, defend. Be really annoying with how good your defense is. And then uh, do like a tiny push over and over again. And just basically, that's why everyone hates this deck. Because it's just annoying to play against. One last thing I wanted to talk about today was I was on Instagram. And this guy, so th there's this famous football player called Kaka. Which I think actually means like poo or something, which people find funny. I don't find it that funny. But he's like a legend of the sport, right? Football as in soccer for anyone that is American. And basically, this guy's wife, like the reason he's in the news at the moment is because his wife, I think, just divorced him. And in her thing about why she divorced him, she said like, honestly... I don't think it was his fault at all. He was just too perfect or something like that. You know, obviously it's sad for him and everything. I agree that it's a bit outrageous for her to say that because it's like, well, if he was so perfect, then then why, you know? And uh, oh my God, shit, 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 shit. Oh my God, dude, I played that like three centuries ago. Okay, if we, we can't lose this from that lag, dude. Please don't, sp mm, that splashed, okay. We're gonna win here, but People in the comments, oh my god, dude, grow up. The people in the comments were like, oh, well, well, this proves that if you're a man, you can do everything and women will still be, like, women will still want what they can't have and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude, actually, shut up. It is so cringe. They're just, ugh, I don't know. All right, we're going to mine a poison to win this. I hope- hopefully you get what I mean. I hope my audience are not the type that's like, Oh, fuck women, they only want one thing in this world and that's money or something like that. Because it's just cringe, dude. In her circumstance, maybe that was true. I'm not saying that that's completely untrue, but just... Stop lumping everyone into one group. Alright? Love people. I don't know, I'm trying to be positive here. Spread some love. Alright? We just won four games in a row. Hopefully I've proved that this deck works. This video is way longer than I thought. I actually really need to take my poo now. So click here if you want to watch another video. If you don't, then um, just know that I'm taking a nice fat poop right now. All right. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.